Balos in Hanya Creek, one of the most photographed beaches in the world. A perfect combination of an exotic landscape and wild natural beauty. Mesmerizing emerald waters, fine white sand, and rock formations create a scenery like no other. The water is warm and shallow, and some parts of the beach, the sand is pink. In spite of the crowds during summer, the beach lives up to its reputation as one of the most beautiful in Crete and is a must for anyone visiting the island. There are several ways to get to Balos. Could be an interesting 2-3 hours walk if you don't mind walking under the hot sun or you can take a private boat tour if you have a few hundred euros to spend. But if you belong to the vast majority of people who either just want to drive there or take a boat, this video is for you. We will be covering these two options. Let's start with a car. Probably you have heard already how terrible this road is and how dangerous. It's even featured on dangerous road site. Well, that's not close to the truth. You have to go slow, but mostly because it's tiring and bumpy. It's not necessarily dangerous. Most probably, you will start from Hanya. It takes an hour and a half. The road in question starts an hour later, right after Balos Hotel. This is where the dirt road starts. Roughly 8 kilometers will take you about half an hour. But right after you start, you will have to stop to pay 1 euro per person. And time for the dreaded Balos Road. If you are cautious and drive slow, you will have no problem at all. In fact, you will enjoy this scenic route. Just drive slow and everything will be okay. At this point I have to mention that if you rent a small car and not a 4x4, the insurance does not cover you. You will be going at your own risk. After many bumps and a lot of dust, you will get to Balos Beach Parking. Some kind of tip here, you might see cars parked before the parking, maybe one kilometer, maybe even two. It doesn't necessarily mean that the parking is full. As long as you see cars parked mostly facing the parking, you might want to take your chances and get there because probably it's not full. But if at the end you have to turn around, don't blame me, but most of the times there is space. Hmm, and checking this clip, I think I see many mini rental cars. But you didn't hear this from me. No, God, please, no, no! Also, you run a slight risk of goats climbing onto your car. <laughs> you can stay at Balos the latest until 8 p.m. You can take advantage of that only with a car. The walk to the beach will take 30 minutes, and halfway, you will get to the famous viewpoint. That's the moment you will feel happy you decided to go by car. This is the point from which most of the Balos pictures you've seen were taken. Yes, you can climb if you go by boat, but it's most of the tough uphill part to get there, which is the main reason why some people choose to go by boat. Plus, the time you have on the beach if you go by boat is limited. But more on that later. When you're done taking pictures and enjoying the view, as if a few minutes are ever enough for this, you will head to the beach, probably where the white soft sand is, at the main lagoon or the sandbar. In our case, we like to go left to the south side of the lagoon, where natural pools are created in the rocks. If at some point you want to skip the crowds, you can check them for yourself. How's my do? Baby, who say it? How's my do? Good. Oh, f if you want to explore this part of the beach and Barbara's pool, it's better to come with shoes and not flip flops. The rocks are a bit sharp and pointy. In a nutshell, the pros of visiting Balos by car is mostly time. You can get there first thing in the morning and leave at 8 o'clock. And now, let's check what the boat option has to offer. 
you need to get to Kisamo Sport. If you buy an excursion from a local travel agency, it will include the boat ticket and transfer at costs around 45 euro per person. If you drive on your own, you will buy the ticket there. It costs 29 euro per person. The boat leaves at 10.30 and after an hour it will arrive at Granvus Island. Two hundred years ago, pirates were ruling the area, spreading fear to all ship crews. In a specific period of three years, they attacked 155 ships. You will have an hour and a half and there are three options on how to spend it. Visit the Ola Gambusa fortress, snorkel the cargo ship Dimitrios Pirek, or swim and relax at the Gambusa beach. The climb on the fortress will take around 20 minutes. You can walk among the ruins and enjoy the breathtaking view. The small, 45-meter-long cargo ship Dimitrios P, in January 1968, while anchored in Granvusa Bay due to bad weather conditions, lost its anchor chain and became stranded on its left side. The engine room was flooded and the crew had to abandon the ship. The wreck remains there up to this day and has now become a part of Granvusa Island. If climbing mostly under hot sun or snorkeling is not your thing, you can enjoy the beautiful waters of Ramvusa Beach. But since you will be soon heading to Balos anyway, I strongly recommend doing at least one of the two other options. After leaving Ramvusa, you will be at Balos 20 minutes later. Here you will spend about two and a half hours. You can get the boat anytime you like and the bar restaurant is open all day. Around 4.30, it departs to return to Kisam. So, time for the key takeaways. If you go by car, the main advantage is time. You can be there from dawn till late p.m. If it's late summer, when the sun sets later, you can enjoy the beautiful sunset from the viewpoint on your way back. But also, you'll have to climb the top for some people uphill to get to the car. And of course, drive for another 30 minutes through the slow, bumpy dirt road to Kisamos. If you decide to take the boat, you will enjoy the route to Granvusa and Balos. You will not have to worry about water and food, since you can find anything in the bar, even umbrellas to rent for the beach. You have the chance to check Granvusa Fortress, but also swim to a shipwreck. The main disadvantage is, as you guess, time. You go and live on a boat, so the time you have there is limited. What do you think you would like more? Lots of hours to enjoy the beach? or limited time but more options plus the fun of a short boat ride. Leave a comment below and if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. One thing is for sure, no matter which way you choose to visit Balos, it will be a day you will never forget.